Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison between Linux Mint 21 on the left versus Debian 11 on the right. So these are both the latest releases here, and they are both running off the XFCE desktop environments, as you can plainly see here. But we'll have a uh, look firstly, because Linux Mint is heavily customized in comparison to the more stock standard, pretty boring actually, and old school looking XFCE version that Debian chooses to employ, uh, very unfortunately there. So you do have uh, the applications menu for Debian. You're able to uh, look at the categorization of apps and load up an app that you want, but you don't have the search function that Linux Mint 21 does. So yeah, props to Linux Mint for that one there. Let's have a bit of a right click and have a look at the uh, context menu on the on the front and this is looking uh, actually pretty colorful there but uh, a couple more options here and there but I just like the fact that you've got an open terminal for both of them that keeps me pretty happy there uh, next up uh, what we want to do is have a look at the the file manager there so we'll just see what we're dealing with now once we open both of these up if it too lets me uh, yeah, not very pretty, got to say, the uh, the default version, but it is, they are both using Thuna, pretty much the same version there as well. Now, Linux Mint has chosen to customize its uh, icons and color sets to make them a little bit more uh, beautiful and that, that, that mint flavor color in. But uh, again, Debian 11 is just going to stock standard and it is super boring. It looks like an old Linux from the 2000s. Uh, next up, let's have a little bit of a look at the back end and we'll see what's happening there. So, you might see some differences here. So, we have a newer kernel for Linux Mint 21. That's because it's running off uh, Ubuntu uh, as the back end, whereas Debian is uh, more of a stable older kernel that it chooses to use, 5.10. It's quite a few generations older uh, uh, Debian is there. Uh, next up, last but not least, take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but let's have a look at the CPU and uh, RAM usage on boot up. So CPU is idling off for both of them nicely. Now Linux Mint 21 is running at uh, 567 megabytes of RAM on boot up, not too bad. And Debian 11, the stock variant, uh, a little bit less, 532 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So much of a muchness, but you've got a much more beautified version of the XFCE desktop environment with a newer kernel, and you're not paying for it with any extra RAM really, or CPU for that matter. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.